Oh god. I sit next to Akira and look into the monitor, and there I see a man who clearly got his ass kicked. There's no mistaking it, that's Cannon's father. Looks like he got his ass kicked. He's terribly wounded, bloody all over. What happened to him? I think he got his ass kicked. <laughs> あなたに伝えておかなければならないことがある。まず、この状況について説明しておこう。私に怪我を負わせたのは、ヒオセウイルスにより変貌した妻だ。これは。The このウイルスは難病の娘のために研究していたものだ。遺伝性の病気を持つ人間がこのウイルスに感染すればウイルスが病気の原因となる遺伝子を排除し、宿主の健康を保つように働く。そう働く。Virus. They were researching it, and if you're infected, it makes you look like that. Wait, wait a minute. So the origin of the X virus was. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think most of us already came to that conclusion, but thanks for saying it out loud. No shit. So I guess it worked its intended purpose. No. Ganon was saved by the virus? So that means she was infected by the virus while her parents were still alive. Years ago. Huh. <笑>私たちはどんなことをしてても娘を救いたかった。このウイルスがその願いを叶えてくれる。そしていつか娘と同じ病気で苦しむ多くの子供たちを救ってくれる。そう信じて研究を進めた。だが、ウイルスは予想
おそらく彼が動画を撮る前に発火装置を仕掛けていたのだと思います発火装置ええ多分ウイルスを消すためにただ現状を見るとそれもうまくいかなかったようですが一番最初のウイルスがカノンの中にいる Correct. 今でもそういうことですかそうなりますか We sit there in silence for a while. The silence is heavy and uncomfortable. Cannon has the virus. No. Cannon is the virus originator. Fuka, Satsuki, and Maki. They all died from Cannon's virus. No. Wait a minute. What about Cannon herself? According to her father, she's coexisted with the virus all this time. But after all this time, she's suddenly experiencing symptoms? Which means the balance between her and the virus is already. Canon yelled. I think you mean Akira, because Canon's not in the room. <laughs> Akira yells out in surprise, but I run out of the room without answering her. Just all of a sudden, Canon's in the room, like <laughs> saying her name made her appear. Canon, if I don't do anything, she'll. By the time I leave Raytime HQ, it's already sunset. I run through the dark streets. Cannon is over there, in the house where she grew up. She has to be there. It's been abandoned since her parents moved out, but it's the same way it was three years ago. And she still has the spare key, which means she must be there. Anyway, I have to see her. I need to see Cannon. I know she did nothing wrong. She didn't know anything. But I still blamed her, yelled at her. I was out of my mind. It was just emotional because I had just lost Fuka. <laughs> Exactly. Fuck. I'm still pissed at that moment, but whatever. No, it's not too late. I can still take care of Cannon. I can still save her. I've been Cannon's protector ever since we were kids. I loved having that duty. But the virus is still living inside of her. And it's the original X virus, the cause of all this mess. As long as Cannon is alive, The virus will continue to spread and kill many innocent people. Kind of quick save right about here. Actually, I'm going to take slot number five just to be safe in case slot number four actually turns out to be useful. You never know. Save Cannon, even if the world ends. No. Why am I faltering? There's only one action I can take. There's only one thing I can proudly say. This is my duty about. It's protecting Cannon, no matter what. I will save Cannon, and I'll do whatever it takes. I'm sure D4U has the power to destroy the virus and save Cannon. All I can do is believe. Wait for me, Cannon. Oh shit. Uh, are you done? Okay. Sorry, forgot he has voice lines when it's in parentheses. My bad. He's still out of breath. I have to hurry to where Cannon is. It's not right the way things are right now. I'm worried I'll hurt Cannon. Cannon must be over there. What? What's happening? What's happening? Kano. How can she sense I'm coming? <laughs> how, how does she know? So where's, where's she running to? Kano. Theme park? Wait, is this... Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. That's canon. It's definitely canon. 
She's changed forms and she can barely talk, but that's definitely canon I'm looking at. Canon is fighting. She's fighting against the virus trying to take over her body. Canon, keep going. Keep going. Please, don't give in to it. God damn it. Canon raises her right arm and pushes my chest. All the air leaves my lungs and I fall to the ground. As I lie on the ground, Cannon slowly walks up to me. Cannon, the virus has completely taken her. Minato -san. My name isn't Minato, asshole. God damn it. <laughs> I fucked up, didn't I? Cannon roars, wobbling towards us. Cannon's disappearing. Without thinking, I take a step towards Cannon. Fuck off. Cannon jumps high in the air with a mighty roar. My reflexes respond to Ozumi's voice, and just in time, Cannon, now fully transformed, smashes her fist into the spot where I just was. Oh no, she's been inflicted. She's fucking advanced into the Ric Flair stage of the virus. Cannon shouts angrily at her miss. It's no use. She's completely lost her mind. Her memories, too. I just need to do whatever I can to stop Cannon. Oh shit, round two? Oh, look at that, I won. fight has reached a stalemate. Cannon is watching us all on high alert. Are D4U's attacks having any effect on her? But if they are having an effect on her, it means I'm hurting Cannon. Fuck you. I know. I know that. I know that I need to fight Cannon, and I resign myself to that reality. I know that Cannon isn't there anymore. Her thoughts, feelings, memories, everything is gone. But even so, I can't stand the thought of hurting Cannon. She's still not defeated. I didn't get any XP from it. That's how you know, I'll get XP if she actually dies. What? Cannon, stop moving. Did I do it? No. Shut up, Tsukasa. No. I'm not hearing her voice. It's being directly transmitted into my thoughts. Cannon's mind is linked to mine. Cannon is still alive. Cannon still exists inside that monster. Please, help Cannon hear me. Help Cannon know how I feel. 
She heard me. Thank God. No? What? I freeze up when I heard the words I wasn't expecting to hear. Nope. Cannon's feelings are just too real. I can feel how sincere she is, like I could feel a dagger in my heart. Does she expect me to be like, sure, okay, that's dandy, and just kill her? Used a wrong parenthesis at the end. No! Don't do this to me! だって。だから、お願い。私が少しでも残っているうちに。うん、うん、うん、うん、うん。あなたがそこにいるって。私を殺して。うん。私を殺して。うん。私を殺して。うん。私を殺して。うん。私を殺して。うん。私を殺して。
But before I do that, I'm gonna end this recording session real quick. Gonna take a quick break and then, well, I guess I'm not ending the recording session. I'm ending this recording and starting a new recording because I like to break up my recordings when I'm doing longer length episodes like this. So whatever. Anyway, we're gonna take a quick break. Be right back. So yeah, see you when I'm right back. Yeah, all right, welcome back to more Song of Memories. I, I doubt this is a new video, but if it is, welcome back. Um, yeah, we're starting from this fucking decision point, because I think this is where the big decision happens, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay, we'll try a kill cannon to save the world. I guess that's what we're gonna try. D for you begins to sing in unison. But their song isn't one I've heard before. <laughs> As they sing their song, an invisible giant pair of hands holds Cannon still. A song they don't want to sing. That's how it feels to me too. Just listening to it makes my heart feel like it's been squeezed with deep sorrow. A song of sadness. When Cannon hears the song, she falls to the ground, writhing in agony. Please, stop it. For a moment I almost give them the order to stop. But I use every ounce of willpower to stop myself as I watch Cannon writhe in agony. To be honest, I don't want to watch this anymore. It's just too painful. But the pain I feel is nothing compared to the pain Cannon is feeling. I owe it to her. I have to watch her die. Yikes. As Cannon lies there, she slowly stops moving and moaning. Then, as she takes her final breath, Cannon's dull eyes look at me. Then she speaks. There's no way this is the fucking good end. Then Cannon stops moving. I crouch next to her lifeless body, softly calling her name. But she doesn't answer. She doesn't flinch. And as I stare down at her, I start to cry. More, more tears come, and I can't stop them. My face wet with tears, I crouch next to Karen. As I cry, Cannon's body turns to white ash. The wind carries it away. Cannon. Cannon is leaving me. My Cannon. Come on. I scream her name in sadness, just as I lose consciousness. A while later, Akira finds me, hunched over by Cannon's ashes. For a while I was catatonic, hunched in a ball, not able to talk, eat, or even say my own name. But while I'm like this in the hospital, strange things happen in the town. When the sun rises the next morning, white ash rains all over the city and all traces of the X-Virus disappear, as if they never existed. Everyone is calling it a miracle. But I don't think it's a miracle. Cannon did that. Cannon sacrificed herself to save everyone else, and it was her parents' love that saved her. I'm still not sure what technically happened, but I believe at least that much to be true. And I have another very strong conviction. I don't want my feelings for Cannon to have been for nothing. And so... なんやあんた。まだ起きとんのかああ。油断してると受験日なんてあっという間だからな。できるだけのことはやっとかないと。そうね。歌波大の医学部はかなりの難関だって言うから。ありがとう。気をつけるよ。I don't want that tragedy to ever happen again. What can I do to make sure of that? I decided to study medicine. I know this is the one way I can best honor Fuka, 
Satsuki and Canon. So, oh, shit. That's gotta be the normal end, right? Yeah, that's the normal end because there's no final scene. I can already tell that because I remember what happened with Satsuki's route. That was just the normal end. Yep. And it's Akira's titties for the <laughs> little clip of the... Okay. So it's not just that decision, it's decisions I made earlier in the episode as well. Yeah.